We're going to learn about double decreases. We have the S2KP and the SK2P double decrease. Which one is which and what do they look like? Let's take an up close look at how to do these decreases and see how they look in my Westnitz designs. First, let's do the S2KP. S2KP means you're slipping two stitches knitwise. So I'm at the point where I need to S2KP. So slip these two stitches knitwise, knit one, pass the two slipped stitches over like that. And that makes a nice centered double decrease. One more time, S2KP. Slip two stitches knitwise. So I'm going into that center stitch, slipping them knitwise, knit one, pass those two slipped stitches over like that. When you do this decrease, it looks really nice that when you work the wrong side, you purl that stitch to make it a stockinette stitch. So I did that in the chevron braid wrap and it looks like that. So you're doing the S2KP. Every time you do the S2KP, you do it one stitch before that center stitch. So if this is the center stitch, you could place a stitch marker to help mark that that's the center stitch. And one stitch before that is when you start. So when you slip two, you're going into that center stitch first and then getting the neighbor. Knit one, pass both of those over. And then don't forget to purl on the wrong side if you want that smooth knit column right there. Now let's do the SK2P. This is the same location. We're one stitch before that center stitch. We're slipping one stitch knitwise, knit two together, pass the first stitch over like that. One more time. SK2P. You're going to slip the first stitch knitwise, knit the next two stitches together, and pass that single stitch over. And it looks like that. You can use these decreases interchangeably. So if the pattern says to do that SK2P, you could do this decrease instead, the S2KP. It's just a slight difference. You're decreasing two stitches for both of those, but look how this one looks. I love that center line. And this one's really quick and easy too, and it looks like that. So here are some patterns where I applied those decreases. This is the chevron braid wrap with that S2KP. I did that same double decrease for the border of my Aurora cabin shawl. Look how beautiful that looks with that single knit stitch line. And the Chevron Shenanigans is another design that uses that S2KP, where you're slipping two stitches knitwise first, and you get that beautiful knit column line. When you're working garter stitch, you're always knitting on both sides of the fabric, but on the wrong side, you're purling that center stitch. So you're knitting, 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 purl that center stitch so that you get that single stockinette stitch detail. That's what makes it look so crisp and nice. The other decrease, the second decrease I showed, the SK2P, looks like this. So you don't have that single knit stitch line. That's that second one I showed right here. It's really nice, it's really quick and easy to knit. So de depending on what effect you want, this one's a bit more invisible in the garter stitch. So instead of having that standout detail, it's really simple. It doesn't take away from the color party going on. We've got our increases, our decreases, but if you wanted that single line like we had here, you could do that other decrease. So give both of those a try, and I write exactly which one to do in my patterns, but if you want to do the other one, then feel free to do it. But this is the Cozy Corner Shawl. Cozy Corner Shawl is a really fun chevron shawl with increases and decreases. Chevron Shenanigans is this shawl with short rows and a fun fading color palette. The Aurora Cabin Shawl, beautiful slip stitches with that really fun show-stopping border. And the Chevron Braid Wrap has lots of increases and decreases with this fun braid loop technique. 
So I'll link to all my patterns down below in this video so you can download all my patterns on Ravelry or Westnitz.com and give these techniques a try. Well, I hope that gave you a better understanding of these double decreases. And just remember, if something's not working out for you, there's more than one way to do something. So if you see that one decrease, you can do the other one I showed in this video instead. So it doesn't matter. As long as you decrease two stitches, you're on the right track. So if you loved this video, there's a lot more tutorials and workshops you can follow along with. So I have all these workshops at westknits.com where you can learn how to brioche knit or design your own shawl or how to do modular knitting. So all those are linked down below at westknits.com. So I hope you'll sign up for a workshop or watch any of my other fun tutorials here on YouTube. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.